Most people using Microsoft Copilot are doing it wrong. They open it, ask it to write something simple, then log off like it's 2015. The real power of Copilot kicks in when you stop using it like a basic chatbot and start taking advantage of all its features. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to unlock features in Copilot that most users don't even know exist. Tip 1. Access Microsoft Pilot for free. Start by going to Microsoft365.com. Sign in with any Microsoft account. It doesn't have to be a premium one. If you've ever created a Hotmail, Outlook, or Xbox account, that works. Once you're in, you can open Word, Excel, and PowerPoint straight from your browser. You'll see Copilot built right into those apps. You don't have to install anything. You don't even need the desktop versions. It works right there in the browser for free. That alone surprises most people. Tip 2. Organize projects. Inside Copilot, there's something called notebooks. Think of a notebook as your command center for any project. You can drop in files, links, meeting notes, and even full chat conversations. It's all in one view, and it all stays connected. If you're juggling tasks across documents and chats, this keeps everything from falling apart. Once you've added a few things to your notebook, ask Copilot to give you a summary. You can even say something like, what's the big picture from these notes? And it'll pull out the key points. You can also ask it to speak like an audiobook summary, which makes it easier to digest if you're tired of reading. This helps Copilot understand what's going on, so the next time you ask something, it has real context to work with. Tip 3. Turn your notebook into a smart knowledge base. Once your notebook starts filling up, you can level up by turning it into a smart knowledge base. This is where you stop using Copilot as a one-off assistant and start using it as a brain that remembers your world. Upload product details, customer feedback, past meeting notes, or anything else your team usually stores in folders no one opens. Now, ask questions like, what did people like least about our spring launch? Or, which clients have asked about this feature before? Instead of giving you a random internet answer, Copilot responds based on your actual business data. Tip 4. Create branded visuals. From the Microsoft 365 dashboard, open the Create app. Once you're inside, click on More, then choose Brand Kits. This is where you give Copilot your design style. Upload your logo, add your brand colors, choose your fonts. After you set up your kit, you can ask Copilot to make things like flyers, social posts, or infographics. It automatically applies your branding, so everything looks consistent without you doing a thing in Photoshop. This is perfect if you're running a business, freelancing, or just want your content to not look like it was made during a lunch break. Tip 5. Save and reuse prompts. Let's say you use Copilot Chat for tasks like summarizing spreadsheets or writing simple reports. You don't need to type the same thing every time. Type out your best version of the prompt once. When Copilot gives you a good answer, hover over your original prompt and hit Save Prompt. This adds it to your prompt gallery. Next time, just click and run it again. Even better, you can share your saved prompts with coworkers so they can stop asking you how to do things. Tip 6. Generate web components without coding. If you're working on a website or managing digital content, Copilot can help you create web elements like banners and widgets without you having to know anything about HTML. Just tell it what you need. For example, ask for a scrolling banner with bold white text on a blue background. It'll write the HTML and CSS for you. Even better, it shows a preview so you can check how it looks. You can tweak things like the color, font, or animation speed by asking in plain English. When you're happy, just copy the code and paste it into your site. Tip 7. Draft and refine written content. 
Now let's talk about writing. Copilot can help you draft all kinds of written content, but the real magic happens when you use it with pages. Let's say you're writing a product announcement. Start the draft in Copilot. Once the basic content is ready, open it in Pages. The layout looks like a regular doc editor, but with extra tools built in. You can ask it to rewrite sentences, change the tone, or shorten sections. Use the forward slash to insert blocks like quotes or callouts to make it easier to read. It's clean, simple, and doesn't make you feel like you're formatting a high school essay. Tip eight, share pages live without attachments. When you're done, you don't need to attach a file or download anything. Just click share, then choose copy component. Paste that into a Teams message or an Outlook email. The person you're sending it to can click the link and view or edit the document live. You're not stuck with five versions of a doc bouncing around. Everyone works on the same page. It's like Google Docs, but cleaner and fully baked into your Microsoft setup. This is perfect for teams that want fewer meetings and less file chaos. Tip nine, analyze spreadsheets. Here's something most users don't even try. Copilot can handle spreadsheet analysis with plain language. Open Copilot chat, then pull in your spreadsheet using the slash command. Once it's loaded, start asking questions. Say something like, which day had the highest sales last month? Or create a chart showing sales by region. Copilot reads the data and gives you an answer with visuals. No formulas, no pivot tables, just actual answers. You can go further and ask follow-ups like, what's the trend over the past four weeks? And it keeps the conversation going based on the same file. This is huge for people who want insights, but don't speak spreadsheets. The more you use these features together, the better Copilot gets. Every time you save a prompt, upload brand assets, or feed it more context, you're making it smarter. It doesn't memorize your private data unless you give it access, but within the space of your documents and notebooks, it starts to understand what matters to you. That means faster answers, better drafts, and fewer mistakes. None of this requires a paid Copilot Pro plan. Everything we've gone through works right now using just a free Microsoft account and a browser. You don't need plugins, fancy hardware, or even tech skills. You just need to know where to click and what to say. Which of these tips will you try next time? Let me know below and don't forget to like and comment for future videos.